Hey everyone, it's been uh, a little over a week now since we launched our uh, Kickstarter campaign and uh, we also got funded within that time, so thank you very much. Thank you. So we wanted to give you a brief video update of what's been happening in the last week and what we have planned coming up and beyond that. So we spent most of last week in San Francisco, Silicon Valley area. Um, we stopped by a bunch of web video places like Techzilla, Hack5, This Week in Tech, we were on their triangulation show. Um, we did a kind of uh, celebration, we're getting going um, party at, uh, what was that bar? Um, some oh, oh, some Riley's Irish. or something? Yeah, yeah. Um, that was a lot of fun. We showed the, the glasses and had a ton of people come out and take a look at the glasses. And then we went to Gaming Insiders um, Conference and we showed the glasses um, to hundreds of people there. That was a lot of fun. And then just this Saturday we went, went to PopCap's board gaming night and showed our RTS tank game. Well, the, the beginnings of it at least. And uh, on top of that we've been visiting with a bunch of developers and there's some really exciting news about a whole pile of games that are going to be available for our glasses pretty soon. So we're getting very close to our first stretch goal which is the D&D kind of a dungeon creator for uh, DMs as well as for the players to enjoy and so everything that I said in the original Kickstarter video about being a a D&D player and everything that's really who I am at heart and so I'm looking extremely forward to hitting this goal and so that we can actually make a very fun and very compelling thing. We've been talking about this in our in my D&D group for years about using a projector you know currently we use dominoes and a, a whiteboard and so being on the forefront of actually creating this technology it, it's, it's just really cool. <laughs> it is cool. Um... So in the next um, coming weeks, we're going to be doing a bunch of video updates and various uh, text updates talking about, we'll be showing the VR clip-ons in detail, the RFID grid, we'll be showing some examples with that and showing how that works, the wand up close, uh, the new revision of the wand, which is exciting, uh, the HD glasses, The we're going to talk about the hackability of the system, we're going to keep the system pretty open, so if you want to mess around with the RFID grid, we're going to leave that pretty open and uh, other aspects. And then uh, some demos on how the surface works. I know a lot of you are um, wanting to know um, how bright it is at distance and if there's a, a bend in it or if you get close to it. So we're going to show that. Um, we're also going to show a bunch of non-gaming applications, which uh, uh, we have a, a pretty cool one coming up maybe yep. later this week if it all works out. And then um, Rick's going to be showing in uh, various videos how to do software integration for the developers. And in fact, um, today we'll also be including a how to integrate with Unity, right? Yep. And so finally, we just wanted to discuss kind of our, our plans. And so with hardware development, there's a very large fixed cost to being able to actually produce the hardware. Uh, such things as the creating of the chips, tools, which are, in, in layman's terms, the actual uh, production mechanisms to creating the frames and the, the very bits of the, the actual phys physicality of the classes. And so while we've hit our funding level, being able to gain more funding will allow us to create a, a more high quality product, will allow us to explore greater ideas with software and just make the product even that much cooler. So if you can spread the word, get everybody that you know interested in it and excited about it and keep those pledges coming in, we would be ecstatic. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, keep an eye out for our future updates. Thank you.